This is Charles from Letta. Today I'm going to be talking about Anthropic's brand new model release, Sonnet 4.5. And specifically, I'm going to be focusing on this new tool they added and they, a tool that they trained the model to be very good at called the memory tool. I think the memory tool is probably the most interesting um, aspect of this model release. And this is, you know, a new flagship model release. So there's, of course, you know, various scores that in you know, Sonnet 4.5 is presumably better at better than you know even opus but clearly you know sonnet 4 it's a direct predecessor you know, better at various tasks but i think the most interesting aspect of the, this release is actually not just these benchmark scores but this training around the memory tool so specifically there is now this new memory tool it's kind of like an official anthropic tool that sonnet 4.5 has been trained to use very well and you can see that this memory tool is actually basically treating the agent's long-term memory as a file directory. And I think this kind of makes a lot of sense given the trend of how models have been trained to be better and better at coding over time. Um, but functionally, what this means is that you, you can now kind of enable this tool with Sonnet 4.5. And basically the model will kind of try to use this memories directory as its long-term memory bank. This is kind of like an extension of the agents.md idea or the cloud.md file. So yeah, if you're familiar with the coding agents, if you've used, you know, cloud code, cursor, codex, uh, for a while now, maybe like six, 12 months, there's been this concept of like the, the markdown file that you're gonna put in your directory. Uh, a popular one now is called like agents.md. I think this is supported by, yeah, kind of supported by the majority of coding agents apart from cloud code. But yeah, you basically make this file in your repo and then you describe, you kind of add things these are kind of like memories or but the, more like instructions for an agent for how to use your code or how to use your repo. So yeah, in this case, you were kind of describing to the agent how to set up the entire repo. And then I think the more important thing that people often like to use these, uh, these kind of like memory files or agent on MD files for is to communicate code style, like things that a, a human engineer would know about the repo if they had been at the company for a long time but an agent just isn't going to know. It's not immediately um, evident from the code. Um, so you can kind of like write it down into these files and coding agents like Cloud Code or any of these other ones, you know, Jules, AMP, Codex, they will kind of treat this file, the agents.md file as memory. 